First of all, I want to give a hearty, happy Thanksgiving to you and your entire crew. Do you guys have plans? Will you do something akin to a traditional Thanksgiving meal? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's really awesome. Uh, our mission control, flight control teams gave us tomorrow off. So uh, our plans are, as usual, get up and work out, do the turkey trot, and then uh, watch a little Macy's Day Parade. And we have a bunch of food that we've packed away that is Thanksgiving-ish. Thanksgiving will be day 176 of Sonny Williams' mission to the International Space Station. Williams and fellow American Butch Wilmore were supposed to spend just over a week there after completing the first crewed test flight of Boeing Starliner capsule. But after problems with the spacecraft, NASA determined it wasn't safe enough to bring the astronauts home. How are you and Butch holding up in general? Does it take a toll on your body being in space that long? You can see, you know, part of being in space is working out. We work out a, a couple times, a, you know, two hours a day, aerobic and anaerobic exercise. You can see Butch right here and Nick right over here. Our bodies change a little bit while we're up here, and that's why we have to work out so much. Some people call it space buff. Uh, some people call it, uh, you know, fluid shift in your body. I think we look pretty good. I know, of course, you have heard some of the social media, some of the, the conversations worrying about your health and weight. Is there any message to those folks? Hey, we're feeling good, <laughs> working out, eating right. Uh, it's, it's just awesome, you know, and we have a lot of fun up here, too. So, you know, people are worried about us. Really, don't worry about us. The plan is now for Williams and Wilmore to return to Earth in a SpaceX Dragon in February. And, of course, the capsule you came up on was sent back without a crew. Did a part of you wish you could be on it as it made its return to Earth? Uh, you betcha. You know, it's pretty unique opportunity to land a spacecraft for the first time. And part of our testing was to see how that all of that undocking, deorbit burn, entry and landing would have been. Do you still have confidence in the technology that brought you there and, and would you get on a Starliner again you know tomorrow if you were asked you know tomorrow might be a little bit too early we have we learned a lot of lessons from our flight but the spacecraft is really a solid spacecraft it has so many capabilities so maybe not tomorrow because we have to incorporate some of the lessons learned but as soon as we see that we're on the right path and we've made some of the fixes to some of the issues that we had Absolutely. And Commander, as you know well, astronauts sometimes can wait years for a slot to get back into space. Do you look at this in some ways as a bit of a bonus? That's an interesting question. I do because I just love living up here. It's awesome and we're doing some amazing cutting edge science and it's really great to be part of that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.